Hello, welcome to another Better Wars in my channel. Today we're doing Claw Cat. Oh boy. The Hobbit on an Inspected Journey versus the Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring. Yes, indeed. I'm going to look at the trilogies from the Hobbit series and the Lord of the Rings series and compare them because, in my opinion, they have somewhat a similar setup when it comes to the storyline and the world because it is the same world but the setup is basically the same so let's start with the storyline if it doesn't know the story of the lord of the rings it's kind of sad but the lord of the rings basically is, is set in well the middle earth and there is one ring basically that can destroy the world if the wrong person basically gets it which is sauron it basically ends up with Frodo, a hobbit from the Shire, and he and uh, some of his friends uh, ventured out to return it to Mordor, to the basically volca volcano there where it come from, basically. So they start on this journey, they meet up with Aragorn, and well. Later on, they also meet up with Gandalf and so on and so on, and they meet up in Riverdale, Dale, I think it was called, and there they basically create the Fellowship of, of the Ring, and they venture out, and in the end, this fellowship breaks apart because of uh, a group of Urukai, I think they are called, basically fights the group and kills one of the members, uh, Frodo and his friend Sam are branching out on their own to return the ring when the, when the others basically are trying to recover after the fight and are trying to find out where oh what's Pippin I think the other is the only one called I can't remember the other name of the last hobbit but I'm sorry for that uh, Mary Pippin and Merlin or something like that. Anyway, Aragorn, uh, Legolas and Gimli are basically reaching out to find them uh, and figure out and that there the move basically ends. In The Hobbit it is basically the same, they start up, uh, they meet, uh, this time it is Bilbo, that is The Hobbit. Uh, and. Well, Gandalf basically sets him up to be a part and try to make him a part of a company that is trying to go to Elador and recover the Elder Stone for the supposed Dwarf King, uh, Oaken Shield. I can't remember the first name, sorry for that. Uh, of course, in the beginning, he didn't want to be there, be part of that, but he may later on venture on. This is the first big. Uh, similarity because they both start the journey in the Shire, which is where Bilbo actually lives. And they on the adventure on with Gandalf, which is similar. Uh, the difference in when it be the two parties <coughs> is really that in the Hobbit they are all dwarves. In the Fellowship of the Ring, there are only one dwarf, one uh, elf, rest humans, and Hobbits. But anyway, they end up in Riverdale, another similarity, and they basically, in the end, well, they don't break apart the group, but it just, it ends somewhat semi-happy, semi-bad, which the first movie also ended on. But the winner of this topic is going to be The Fellowship of the Ring. Crazy for that is that uh, they are not trying to make it more fun than what well, uh, which they actually try to make it in the Hobbit. They are actually trying to give you a great storyline in the first movie or be great build up. In the Hobbit, there is a great build up, but it isn't as great as the Fellowship of the Ring, and that is why the Fellowship of the Ring is basically the winner of this topic. Topic number two are going to be effects and environments. The effects and environments are really different in both movies, in my opinion, because the Fellowship of the Ring actually looks more 
realistic in my opinion than the Hobbit movies which is kind of weird because it had a less less of a budget and also is older than the Hobbit which probably is because Warner Brothers is one of the uh, producers of the Hobbit which they weren't involved in the fellowship of uh, in the Lord of the Rings series it was only New Line Cinema which was an independent company uh, in that time because of that in my opinion the fellowship of the ring is the winner because I think the as I said the effects and environment is more realistic in this movie because the world actually looks real you can I probably will have walked around there I could see me doing that in The Hobbit it feels more like stages and more CGI in my opinion topic number three are going to be bad guys of course bad guys in both movies are orcs uh, in the first in the fellowship of the ring they also have orc eyes which is a stronger type of orc in my opinion i don't know if that is true but it's, it's what i actually think they are but in the end which one basically had the best bad guys uh, what they set up in the first movie is that the bad guy is basically sauron which is a real big guy in the hobbit series they set up a dragon which is smog basically which is the dragon they are going to fight later on spoiler alert <laughs> later on um, because of that in my opinion this one will be a tie the tie is mainly because in the first movies there isn't a genuine bad guy that actually stands out in my opinion of course one of the most important scenes in the Fellowship of the Ring is the bridge scene with, with a, I don't know, fiery devil is basically trying to fight, uh, kill the group and the Gamlet is basically fighting him. That is one of the most memorable scenes from that movie, but in my opinion it doesn't stand out, both movies doesn't stand out from each other when it comes to actually building up the bad guys. And the final topic are going to be characters, basically. And straight out, I'm going to say the winner is the Fellowship of the Ring. Mainly because there are more memorable characters in that movie. Uh, in the Hobbit movies, they don't stand out as much as they as the characters in the Fellowship of the Ring, and because of that, the Fellowship of the Ring wins that topic. And the ultimate winner of this topic are going to be. The Fellowship of the Ring. The Fellowship of the Ring is a classic, in my opinion. It's one of the best fantasy films in the history. The Hobbit is a good movie, but it doesn't stand out as much as The Fellowship of the Ring and doesn't give such as uh, experience as The Fellowship of the Ring does. That's all, all for today, folks. Until the next time, and I take care of the two towers versus the desolation of Smog. Until next time, bye.